Let's go ahead and cut. Oh, yeah, there's a bunch of moments in this. This is pretty, pretty cool. So this is me, this is modern day Judith, um, kind of taking in all the different aspects of what creates me, who's me. Um, everything from, you know, my heritage on both sides, what it means to be an African-American woman, an Asian woman in America right now. This warrior, she's in the middle of suburban America, does not belong. Um, and that's what it feels like. I mean, she was brought here on a ship. She was not brought here voluntarily. They will soon put her back in the cage because that's what they always do. They don't want her free. They don't want the sense. So she represents kind of like the free, the spirit animal, the essence and the beauty and the fight and the warrior and the dream and everything that's so powerful. And I think that she's looking at Judith and reminding Judith of who she really is at spirit. We wanted to go back in time into the 1950s and really um, celebrate and pay homage to um, this character who has paved the way for us as modern day women. She's cleaning, she's in a place where she's serving. She's a little apprehensive about throwing up the fist, but she does it. Um, she knows her power, but she's not able to express it in that era, in that way. Um, but I think it's a powerful moment of seeing her um, and really just showing the history and the progression of uh, where we've come and, and, and just showing that she's a very powerful woman in what she's doing and she's um, she needs to be honored and acknowledged as well. So she takes a look at Judith and they exchange looks and there's a moment where they both connect. It's okay to to be defiant and rise up against injustice and particularly this year what we're dealing with so much um, hatred and animosity and towards not just African-American women but also Asian women with the COVID situation and the fears that surround um, that and how um, Asian Americans are perceived. You know in the capitalism and greed has really served as the core of American racism the, the idea of this is mine protecting what is mine, you know, get your piece of the gold, you know, keeping the underprivileged down so that you could stay on top is really what drives this country. In America, being black, you're perceived as a criminal. It's a crime just to be black, but being born in America, you're also an American. And what does that mean? What does that look like? The genocide and persecution of black people is ongoing. You know, so when you look at somebody on the street who looks dangerous, you really got to ask yourself, well, who is the real criminal here? In the video, this character is a vigilante that's trying to escape her oppressors. She's accused of many things, mainly because of her appearance and what she represents to society. To people, it's dangerous. To people, it, it means crime, it means punishment, it means putting them aside, putting them away. Um, and I struggle with that as a black woman. And they see something totally different. They see lock your doors, they see roll up your windows, they see, um, you know, caution when they see someone like this. And so I think it just goes to show, especially where we are with America, um, trying to break that down. But really that's foundationally what America was built upon, so it's hard to break something like that down. Do I hope things change? Yes, I really do. Um, but to be honest, it starts with a change of heart. We have to be able to see every human being as your mother, father, sister, or brother. And you have to really feel it, like really feel someone else's pain and ultimately value life Value someone else's life as if it was just as important as your own life. Then and only then can we truly be free.